Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. You see it, let's get it. First Horizon Bank Online accounts hacked to steal customer funds. We're not actually stealing identity, we steal stealing money now. The bank hold company, First Horizon Corporation, disclosed some of its customers had their online banking account breached by an unknown attacker earlier this month. The First Horizon original finance company with $84 billion in assets that offer banking, capital market, and wealth management service. First Horizon Bank, the company bank's uh, sub subsidiary, operates a network of hundreds of bank locations in 12 states across the southeast. The attackers accessed personal information and stole funds. First Horizon discovered the attack in mid-April 2021 and said that it only impacted a limited number of customers. As a discovery during the investigation, the unknown threat actor could breach the customer online banking accounts using previously stolen credentials by exploiting a vulnerability in a third-party software. So once again, that's huge. That's kind of like the SolarWinds hack. Hackers are getting in third-party software and actually using that uh, breach on the third-party software to actually get into the main software of that company. So once again... Any software you have on your network, any software you have running on uh, laptops, any software running on people's uh, phone and you let them connect to your net, uh, network, you need to review all that third-party software. Using the credentials and, exp and exploding vulnerability in third-party uh, security software, the non-authorized party gained unauthorized access to under 200 online customer bank accounts. First, Horizon added in their 8K filing with the uh, SEC. The attackers were able to gain access to customer information stored in the breach accounts, drain, from, drain funds from some of them before the intrusion was discovered. The financial service firm revealed that they fraudulently obtained an aggregate of less than $1 million from some of these accounts. Customers reimbursed after breach. The bank holding firm reimbursed all impacted customers for their stolen funds after the breach was discovered. First Horizon also notified relevant relevant data regul regulatory law enforcement agents and, and opened up a new accounts for its effective customers. So yeah, banks usually let the FBI know, uh, CIA, uh, CISA is the uh, cyber infrastructure group. Um, the company also remediated the software vulnerabilities exploited by the attackers during the incident. Based on its ongoing assessment of the incident to date, the company does not believe this was event will have material adverse effect on its business, results of operation or financial condition. While Horizon did not provide any info on the exploited third-party software, massive collection of stolen user credentials potentially reused on multiple sites have been sold or leaked for free by various uh, threat actors for years. The most recent example are 10 millions of user records containing personal data and credentials belonging to the Park Mobile, Big Basket, and Nitro PDF customers share for free on the hacking forums. So most people reuse their password. So if you use your name dot, they're gonna uh, take your old password found on those breach, and people are gonna try those passwords and, and um, fairly used sites like Amazon, different bank accounts, uh, stuff you put on your uh, your LinkedIn or your Facebook. People can kind of figure out what accounts and what software you use from those other sites too. First Horizon uh, Division, Marcus disclosed another breach spanning almost two years of exposing customer data a day after his parent company merged with uh, Verizon on June 3rd, 2020. A First Horizon spokesman was not available for comment when contacted by uh, bleeping computers today for more detail regarding the breach disclosed earlier this week. So once again, it was a short article um, I guess be careful out there. There's so many attacks, so many ransomwares. Uh, you might want to have multiple bank accounts with uh, a little side money in case your um, main bank account get hacked. Because a lot of times if your main bank account get hacked, you can't get to your account while they're investigating your, your loss. So maybe you want to have a, another bank where you have a little side money in in case your main bank account gets locked out for a month. Right, those are, we call that incident response procedures. So if my main bank account get hacked, I got a small savings and loan here with some additional funds that I know I can uh, pull money at least for two months and live. So once again, Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. Please subscribe.